Starting out, you guys have five seconds to tell me down in the comment section which console you play Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 on. Hey, how's it hanging? I'm AZ Lazy Gaming, and today we're going to be talking about are the Xenoverse 2 devs actually listening to the community? Let's jump straight into the video. Alrighty, so when I ask this question, obviously I'm not asking it in a literal sense, but at the same time I am. And so with that, I mean, obviously they're listening to us because they're making changes and giving us more content. But at the same time, the changes aren't as drastic as, you know, probably adding custom fighting styles to the game or fusing with super Dragon Ball heroes like some people want. It's more like, it's not subtle, but it's not extra major like a brand new game. And so I know I made a video a while back talking about how I'll never talk about Xenoverse 2 content on the game again. But I feel like I have to talk about this because so much stuff has been coming out recently. So I have about four videos I put out around this time last year where I was just talking about content I want to see in Xenoverse 3. By no means was I talking about leaks or anything. I don't really care for leaks. I barely keep up with them because it's kind of all word of mouth. And so all of my videos were just like concepts and ideas I'd like to personally see in Xenoverse 3. But somehow, and like funny enough, they ended up becoming content for Xenoverse 2. So first off, I want to talk about Tournament of the Universes and the content it has brought in itself. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, long story short, you pick one of the three universes that were pretty big in the Tournament of Power, Universe 6, 7, or 11. And you just pretty much collect points for them. At the end of the tournament, there's some pretty cool prizes, and there's even some prizes you earn within the tournament. And so piggybacking off of that, one of the biggest, biggest things that we've all asked for for a long time is Universe has finally come with this tournament, and that is custom clothing for our CACs from the cast characters. Though we only got three outfits as of right now, and those outfits being King Kai, Goku, and Piccolo's, that's still something. It's still somewhat of a start, and it's something that we could possibly see in the game more often, not even in Xenoverse 3 if that's ever gonna get announced. Staying on this topic, I'd like to talk about another huge thing that we've seen come to the tournament that I've seen modders doing, you know what I mean? And they must have hired some like we've been asking them to because we finally got cinematic finishers in the game. And so we've seen the spirit bomb, how it was in the anime, soul punisher, and plenty of more moves. Something else I'd like to touch on because it's not really as major, but it's still a start is Custom auras being in the game for our characters, equipable auras. Like I said, it isn't major because it's just in the Canton City lobby and maybe a few other places. And instead of it being in game, you kind of only see it around the city and you have to equip it like you would a vehicle that you could ride. And there's only three as of right now, if I'm correct. Super Saiyan, Potential Unleashed, and then Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, which you have to unlock through being in the top 100 by the end of the Tournament of the Universes. And so with the game having multiple lobbies, I think that's kind of something I touched on, even though I wanted to be more in depth instead of just tapping and you know what I mean. I used the Roblox game as a reference point for how I want Planet Traveling to be. And so that's not really as major and it's kind of, you kind of just go there to check in and there's a new TP Metal Shop and a few other cool little things there and all three of the universes kind of have their differences. The biggest one I want to talk about out of all of these because it caught me by surprise was actually Ultra Instinct. And it's not done lazily, it's given to every race like I wanted it to be. And everything about Ultra Instinct so far has just been perfect. You know, obviously it was going to be broken, but the transformation is rewarding. When you can pull it off online, has a nice little counter to it, you don't have to waste a slot for an energy charge, the key blast change. I feel like this transformation was very thought out, and I'm happy it was put in the game, even though... I wasn't really looking forward to it being in the game. I wanted it to be in the third one, like I always say. Alrighty, so we have now reached the end of the video, and I would like to make the disclaimer again that I believe these ideas aren't as major as a new game, but they are not as minor as a new super move or ultimate attack being in the game. These are some pretty big updates and a lot of new content coming to the game that I'm really happy for. You know what I mean? And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, I suggest you go watch my other videos. I have a playlist where I talk about all things Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3. And if you want to watch any more of my videos, then I suggest you go check out my playlist where I talk about all things anime video games. And as always, if you guys enjoy, let's try to get the video to three likes. I love you guys, and I'll see y'all in the next vid. Peace.